Gentoo has been hacked, or at least their GitHub presence has been hacked. That's our topic for the day. Again, Gentoo, their GitHub presence has been hacked. What they call the GitHub Gentoo organization has been hacked. It has been compromised. So Gentoo's GitHub presence, any of their GitHub repositories, again, they've been compromised. Uh, late yesterday, we got this announcement over on Gentoo's uh, official website, Gentoo.org, in the Gentoo archives. Someone posted this message. Today, 28th of June at approximately 2020 UTC time, unknown individuals have gained control of the GitHub Gentoo organization and modified the content of repositories as well as pages there. We are still working to determine the exact extent and to regain control of the organization and its repositories. All Gen2 code hosted on GitHub should for the moment be considered compromised. This does not affect any code host hosted on the Gen2 infrastructure. Since the master Gen2 eBuild repository is hosted on our own infrastructure, and since GitHub is only a mirror for it, you're fine as long as you are using rsync or webrsync from gen2.org. So, like your official eBuild repository, all that stuff is fine. Again, the only thing that has been compromised here is Gentoo's GitHub presence, what they call the GitHub Gentoo organization. So they host a few repositories over on GitHub, uh, not things that most users are probably accessing. So it's, I mean, it's a big deal, but this could have been a lot worse if it had actually been their official infrastructure that was compromised. Again, they were using GitHub really as a mirror to their official infrastructure. So uh, let me give you some timeline here too. So uh, again, in the announcement, they mentioned that they realized they had been compromised at 2020 UTC time, at 2110 UTC time, a little less than an hour after that, they announced to the public they had been hacked, that the GitHub Gen2 organization, in fact, had been compromised. So they were very quick to get this public, hey, our GitHub has been hacked, don't use it. So I applaud them for that swift uh, announcement there. Uh, two hours after that announcement, at 2310 UTC time, Gentoo announced they had regained control of the Gentoo GitHub organization. We are wor currently working with GitHub on a procedure for resolution, but please continue to refrain from using code from the Gentoo GitHub organization. So they regained control of their GitHub rep repositories, but they're still working with GitHub to figure out what exactly was the problem, you know, uh, and they still consider the GitHub repositories compromised. They're still telling everyone, do not use the GitHub Gen2 organization. Uh, today, we got some more announcements. Uh, the Gen2 GitHub organization remains temporarily locked down by GitHub support pending fixes to the pull request content. So they're still trying to get the repos straight, trying to get all the malicious stuff out of there and all, you know, the, the real stuff back in the repos. So still working on that. It's still considered compromised. Uh, just uh, a couple of hours ago, they posted a, another update, but that update was basically there's nothing further to report. So uh, got an article here from uh, Beta News. Uh, beta news. Hey. A hacker managed to take control of the GitHub account for Gentoo Linux, going as far as inserting malicious code into the distro. The malware was designed to delete user data. So this gives us a little more information as far as the malware. It was designed to delete your user data. That's interesting. So it was malicious code. I mean, they were trying to do harm to people's machines. Uh, the situation is now under control. An investigation is underway to determine what happened. Anyone who has downloaded a Gentoo distribution or other files recently is warned to refrain from using code from the Gentoo GitHub organization, of course. Uh, this situation is not as serious as it could have been thanks to the fact that GitHub is used as a mirror for files on Gentoo's own infrastructure, rather than you know being one of Gentoo's own servers. Gentoo's own servers were not attacked. This is still a serious security breach, which is being looked into, but again, this could have been a lot worse. If it had been Gentoo's official servers that were hacked, uh, this would be like huge news. I mean, uh, pretty much everyone that was running Gentoo would be affected. Anybody uh, that's downloaded an ISO since it's been hacked or anybody that's run an update to their Gentoo installation since the hack would be affected in that case. 
this again their official servers were not affected this was just the github repositories which act as a mirror so now what do i think about this uh, does this change my opinion of gen 2 as an organization as a project uh, i know a lot of people when these things happen we've had these kinds of situations come up with a number of linux distributions in the past and a lot of the haters come out well look at this gen 2 they can't even present uh, pr prevent their own uh, repositories from getting hacked they're untrustworthy nobody should use them it's a insecure distro uh, no I don't agree with that you know these kinds of things happen uh, Linux Mint a very popular Linux distribution on the desktop Linux Mint was hacked a couple of years back they had their website hacked somebody I think even uh, uploaded an ISO to their, to their website for download that contains some malware or some, you know something uh, and a lot of people to this day give Linux Mint a lot of flack about that that you know it's not a secure operating system because you know their website was hacked essentially uh, Ubuntu by far the most popular Linux distribution on the desktop by far Ubuntu gigantic distribution they've been hacked they've had their forms hacked more than once uh, they might have even had their cloud service well, Ubuntu one you remember the cloud syncing service I can't remember if that was hacked or not they've had a couple of uh, projects associated with Ubuntu that were hacked over the years because of course Ubuntu is a gigantic target because it has you know tens of millions maybe even hundreds of millions of users uh, it is hard to prevent these kinds of attacks to be honest and a lot of them have nothing to do with like uh, the infrastructure involved or you know your standard security protocols a lot of it is users somebody within Gen2 you know gave somebody this password to get into the repos I mean somebody you know a lot of this is really human error it is not a you know a lack of trying on Gentoo's part to keep their their servers secure so uh, I don't give Gentoo a lot of hate on this you know I'm not gonna tell people that Gentoo is insecure and they shouldn't use it uh, Gentoo is just fine guys if, if you're a Gentoo user or, or interested in Gentoo, Gentoo go ahead download the ISO and install it it's safe uh, the same with Linux Mint. I know a lot of people gave Linux Mint a lot of flack over that, that situation a couple of years back. Linux Mint, it's a secure distribution. Feel safe in using it. Same thing with Ubuntu. The same thing with half a dozen other Linux distributions that have had similar issues with you know, servers, GitHub repositories, forums, and various other um, projects associated with their distribution getting hacked over the years. Another thing I know haters are going to jump on immediately is the recent sale of github github of course is now owned by microsoft is this uh, you know somehow a reflection on basically incompetence on microsoft's part uh no no this had nothing to do with you know microsoft taking control of github this is not incompetence on microsoft's part it's certainly uh, there's going to be conspiracy theorists that might maybe microsoft you know plotted against you know a popular linux distribution in this case gen 2 and you know maybe <laughs> let somebody slip in no let, let's let's not be crazy we don't need any of these you know wild ass uh 9-11 conspiracy type theories you know uh no th this had nothing to do with microsoft you know this was just you know hackers trying to hack stuff it happens so again if you're interested in gen 2 or, or you're currently running gen 2 feel safe before I go, I do want to give a special thanks to my patrons, all my Patreon supporters. David, Carlos, Nick, Daniel, Brian, Leo, AK, Ron, Keith, Dan, Michael, Tony, Bruno, David, Mike, Silvio, Omar, Mark, Mr. Lee, Neely Pops, John, Carl, Greg, Rob, Matt, Christian, Tiedemann, Stephen Z, Eduardo, Alex, Jake, Benjamin, Stephen B, Marcus, Interceptor, Tubella, Hume, Paul, The Other Paul, Chuck, Ben, John, Swami, and Mr. Smarty Pants. You guys rock. You guys help make this show possible. Peace, guys.